Hello everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. My name is Joe and today we're here with our 68 C10 project and we're going to talk about how to measure and then install one of our custom length drive shaft kits. Now you might be accustomed to working with a local drive shaft shop where they ask you to measure U-joint to U-joint, but that is not how we do it. Because our drive shafts ship with the yoke already assembled on them, we ask you to measure a little bit differently and we're going to show you how to do that here on this truck. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna measure from the flat of the yoke, which equates to the center of the U-joint. And we are going to measure forward then to the seal surface on the back of the transmission. Okay, and our measurement comes out to 62 inches even. And so knowing that, and knowing that we have a 1310 yoke on our Speedway Motors third member, knowing that we have a TH350 transmission, then that allows us to have all the information we need to order our drive shaft. Another really important thing to notice here is that this is all set up at ride height with the, the pinion angle set the way that we want it to be set. Any variable, you know, any, if you have it up in the air in the driveway and the rear axle is hanging, that's not the measurement that you want. You want the measurement at ride height from seal surface to flat on the rear yoke. And, and that's what you'll wanna give us when you order the drive shaft. So with all of that information, we're ready to, to place our order. So here's our drive shaft as delivered. These show up painted with the rear U-joint installed and with the yoke installed on the front U-joint. So these are really just a plug and play deal out of the box. We happen to spec a three and a half inch drive shaft for our project. These are also available in two and a half and three inch diameters. Okay, our last step is to tighten down the U-joint to the rear yoke. We're using this Speedway Motors U-bolt kit. And uh, I like to use a little bit of Loctite on these and uh, nylocks, and that way you're, you're sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. Obviously, this is something you don't want coming apart. One thing that's important on these U-bolt U style clamps is not to tighten just one side but instead stagger from one side to the next. Because what'll happen is if you wrench one side down until it's tight and snug, it's gonna pull the U-bolt and actually wrap it around and you'll, you'll end up with more of a J-bolt than a U-bolt. All right, with our drive shaft installed, we're one step closer on our C10 project. If you have any questions at all about how to order a custom-length drive shaft kit from us, feel free to give us a call and thank you for watching.